2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have the option, another Rustic or a Shikari. Right now we have 1, 2, and 3 sweet artifacts. Maybe tabling another one of these. I don't know. That's not a rustic. You have a Moriak replica. I really don't think we need another three drop. So I think Shikari would be good. This card's pretty good. It doesn't really help for a metalcraft. I have really one metalcraft card anyway, so yeah, what the hell. Hey, there's our trainee. Slam that. It's right now we have two ways of pumping it. Uh, ooh, we can have two arbiters. Which reminds me, I'm gonna hide one. Uh, I guess we'll take Memnite actually, though. As awful as that sounds. I mean, there's not a whole lot else for us here. Could take an R2 too, but I'd rather have just a Midnight. Uh, Strider Harness is fine. Another equipment. Yeah. So many equipments for our Shikari and Cat Cleric. Uh, yeah. Come on, something awesome. Crank clock. Ooh, that's actually good with all the equipments that we have. We'll take it. And one of them doesn't work, but it's fine. I'm going to take the C's here because it's a sweet combat trick. Soul Perry Mario replica. Probably we should take the other artifact here. Yeah, probably. Soul Perry is pretty good against poison though. Yeah. When in doubt, just take a Metalcraft card, right? I really don't know how good this deck is. I kind of want to cut these cards. And their equipment, sweet. I'm not going to be celebrating any furnaces, so I'm just going to take this sideboard card. I don't know if this Rustaralk is going to make it or not, so it may sit in the sidelines. Just because it could be pretty terrible. I mean, if it's good, it's going to be great, but it could be pretty terrible at the same time. Don't know how good Mind Slayer is going to be because we need a six drop and we really have no way. Of, yeah, there's literally no way of getting us to there quicker. So it'll probably be in the sidelines. Hide this. Hide the Rusted Rock and Midnight. We already have a C's. This card is just, I hate hate drafting, but I lose more often to this than ever to that. I'm not going to play two seasons. I'm taking this Untamed Mind out of the equation. Sure, I'll take a Fleeing Distraction. And which am I more likely? Probably more likely to play that. Just to sight it in. Sure, Scrap Plant. Or a Scrap Diver. Yeah, speaking of Scrap Melter. We didn't get any of the good white cards like Glimmer Point Stag. And we didn't get any of the good uh, red cards like Scrap Melter Diver. So, definitely had better drafts than this. And I've lost. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Shikari, the rest. You and you. Six white cards. X uh, 
Mm. I'll put it in for now. You're 17. So 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 artifacts. Probably not good enough for the rest of the relic. So let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 3 equipments for our Gavalier. Is that good enough? Probably not. Well, let's put these in. Twenty now. Darn. So I think we just need to be an aggressive deck. Unfortunately, I don't see us being that aggressive, except as we draw like. Shikaris. Oops, keep meaning to put this down here. Hmm. So if we really want to be aggressive, if we change it to like this. Just because this is a 2-2, two -two, that's also a 2-2. Two -two. Basically the same thing. I'm sure that's an artifact, but we're not playing anything with Metalcraft. So it shouldn't matter except with our Glenna Hawk. Maybe a Memnite, just to be that more aggressive. Along with our Glenna Hawk. Seems pretty loose. So, this could be a pretty aggressive deck. Oh, we do have a Metalcraft card, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 cards. Yeah, I just don't see this, this deck being that aggressive, you know? I've seen much more aggressive decks than that, so let's take those out, put in these cards. What does that look like? I'm gonna take this out too. Playing 18 maybe? No, we'll do that. For another Metalcraft. And all of a sudden our Shikaris seem a little worse. I don't know. I guess we could have this as, a, as an option. Um, do a draft. And then save this as. Control-ish. I know. Thank you. And I guess we could try being the more aggressive deck. And by doing it this way, it's more of a sideboard or um a defensive card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really want to play this if I just want to be aggressive. Eleven, which means I have to play this. Just twelve. 
Yeah, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, just play him as a 2-4. He's just not going to be online very, very often. So, once again... Um, doing this... Could play this. I can see a case for playing this dumb card. This dies to everything though, so no. What am I saying? That's a terrible idea. If we had like everything of removal, I'd play them, but. Yeah, I think this is an option. I just don't like it as, as much as some of the other decks I've made. I think this would be the aggressive deck that we would want, so let's save this as aggressive aggro. Yeah. So this is the aggressive deck. I just don't know if this is good enough. It's got plenty of two drops though. Our battle gear doesn't really do a whole lot though. Nice to that, that, it doesn't do to that. I don't know. I think we're gonna go with the um, controllish deck. Come on. Thank you. And if need be, we will, oh god, we will sideboard into the aggro deck. I guess that would be better for, you know, um, against Infect, just to trade, trade, trade. So let's add some lands. Definitely agree with needing more white, since we have no other mana fixing. Mm. Probably ten, eight, seven's fine. We have the two double red spells. We have a pretty early double white, and we definitely need more white. So there, we have our controller's deck. And let's go ahead and um, load our aggro deck. Add some lands. Once again, well, I think it's pretty even here. See it as aggro. So we got kind of two decks built here. Still got a minute on time, so as long as I don't lag, should be fine. Control. Here's our control deck. Yep, 